Hey guys, it's the Tyrant, and you are watching Tyrant's Legendary Guide for Halo 3. Today I'm with a very special guest, Mr. Green Skull. How's it going? Tell me a little bit about yourself. I, I've been playing Halo my whole life. It was the first game I ever got for Xbox One. So, been big into it, and I make uh, Halo videos on YouTube and Green's Machines on Halo Waypoint. Excellent, excellent. Now, how much do you like Halo 3? How much do I like Halo 3? I like them all. There's, there's no favorite. It's all, yeah, really. I. All, it's all Halo. Halo's Halo, and I love it all. That's excellent. Now, do you have a personal favorite mission in Halo 3? Personal favorite mission, I gotta say, is Savo Highway. Oh, well, then guess what? We have a special treat for you today. We're gonna do Savo Highway on Legendary with no deaths. What? Don't die. No promises. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Savo Highway, Legendary, no deaths. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Tyrant's Legendary Guide for Halo 3. I'm your host, the Tyrant, and today you are watching to Salvo Highway. Don't know if the T is silent or not. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a regular Warthog. We have an assault rifle and a battle rifle equipped. And we are waiting for our Marines to uh, do something useful. You're going to drive through this cave. That's right. And we're going to plow through this first set of enemies just beyond this corridor over here. Jackals and grunts. And soldiers, oh my. Don't leave any of them standing. I have them in my sights. Oh, that's right. Get owned, you damn dirty ape. Now this level can be sped run in roughly four minutes, but we're going to take a slightly more repeatable route. First, you're going to go ahead and kill these two Jackal Snipers because we need to commandeer a beam rifle. If I can. Let's move. Move, damn it. Come on. There, can we get it? Ah, there we go. That's better. There is a brute captain up here with a fuel rod gun. You're going to want to kill him first. It is entirely possible to speed by him, but I don't like to take a whole lot of chances. You know me. We'll let the Marines deal with that uh, jackal sniper up there. Two hits should bring him down. Now you're probably wondering what skulls I have on here. We have iron because I don't plan on dying. Let's race past these guys. I would have been your daddy, grunt birthday party, and tough luck. I left Catch and Cowbell off this time because Cowbell sucks with the Warthog physics. Let's go up here and kill that first Jackal Sniper. You can speed run past this, but I'm going to show you how to take down key enemies in certain areas. Areas, bleh, Sorry. To make driving through just a little bit easier without having to mow every single enemy down. Here's a brute captain. He always walks up with his grunt guys. And he, he, he's a little late on that bubble shield there. You want to take out this first little group of enemies. And this will allow us to advance just a little bit to get that shade turret, which is right in the middle of the area. This will allow you to drive through without too much opposition. It doesn't take much, and that grunt should be dead. I don't, he's surviving without his methane. And look, it's even leaking. Oh, you're gone now. I put you out of your misery. At least you're not suffocating, am I right? We're going to grab a plasma pistol here. Watch out for those two jackal snipers up there on the dam. See, look how easy it was. Basically no opposition. Uh, there are brutes around here, so watch out for them too. If you drive too slow, they can board your vehicle. This next zone is a little bit complicated. We are introduced to a new vehicle here called a Brew Chopper. This is one badass motherfucker. Shut your mouth. Talk about Shad. We're stopping here to pick up a gravity lift. There we go. Yes, we will be using equipment in this level. And we want to commandeer a Brute Chopper. It's a little bit easier to navigate this thing. We do not need our Marines anymore. Whoop, almost died there. 
if you have black eye on, it should be noted that hijacking a vehicle will bring your shields back up. We're going to stop here. Our goal is to destroy that door. Now, I like bringing the Brute Chopper up here to destroy that shade turret. Sometimes it appears on the other side. Okay, we're having trouble balancing this thing. Come on, Sunday driver. Let's do this. Man, I am terrible at this thing. All right, second shade's getting a little bit antsy, too, so we're going to put him out of his misery. Oh, God. They're everywhere. You don't want to kill too many brutes because then they retreat, and then you have to worry about drones being on the other side of that barrier. So we're just going to drive down here. We're going to match wits with the shade turret. And with that down, since the brutes haven't retreated yet, you shouldn't have to worry about the drones. So just cross the barrier over here, destroy it with a grenade, and then just drive on through. No problem at all. I've seen some people chuck grenades over from the top, but I kind of suck at that, uh, where those other shade turrets were. So I just like to take the easy approach, but as you can see, the drones are not an issue. And we're just driving along, and there's an earthquake. Commander, oh, whoa, that's that's a big ship. That's a really big ship. Say again, recon. You're breaking up. Independence Day in real life. Now, this is where we brought the gravity lift forward to allow us easy passage over the barrier with the vehicle. It should be noted that the Brute Chopper can actually make it across without the gravity lift, but I don't like to take chances again. I'm just a horrible driver in general. Master Chief, finally a good connection. And we're going to use the Brute Chopper just to blast this right next right area so we don't have to deal with the Chieftain and all those jump jet brutes, we like to call them, and I missed it. Come on. Hole in one. Tell the commander her ace is in the hole. There we go. Straight through. Drive up here on this ridge. We've got two brute choppers and a wraith over there on the right hand side that we just need to be careful with. And this will be the path of least resistance if I can manage not to wreck my brute chopper. Uh and to think I ride a motorcycle in real life. All right, so we want to kill these two brutes here. And we're going to commandeer one of their new choppers. Basically, the choppers are cool because they fire spike or er, giant spike rounds. It's pretty neat. Rates, Master Chief, circling that hill. And now what we want to do is quickly get up here on this hill where the wraith is. Be careful, there are brute choppers surrounding the area. They are infinitely respawning. And there are two wraiths as well, one on the hill and one beyond the hill. Our goal here is simple. We want to hijack the wraith and use that to finish the level. So we're actually using quite a number of different vehicles here. Not just uh, the Warthog. It should be noted that Salvo Highway is the first mission in Halo 3 where you can drive vehicles. Oh, whoa. Okay, so our first goal is to get rid of that secondary gunner. He's going to provide us with the most issues. Uh, you can do this a couple of different ways. Battle rifle is definitely one of them. Overcharge shots with the plasma. Whoa. D ah, plasma pistol do work. Um, if you're having trouble, you can pepper the shots like we did in Reach in the last walkthrough, and he's dead. Good. Now, unlike in Reach, the Wraith can still fire when it's been EMP'd, so make sure you're not in this direct line of sight. Fortunately, it doesn't have that weird 90-degree shot that it does in Reach. So you want to bash it until the hatch comes off, and you want to do this quickly because that other Wraith is going to join you in a moment. We have a bubble shield if we need it, but we're probably not going to. Uh, mine the shades. And you want to go as far up on the highway as you possibly can without getting hurt. Now the reason for this is because two other wraiths are going to attack you from the rear. No, not that way, you pervert. And what they're going to do is they're going to shell you from afar. So if you're far enough up, they're going to eventually ignore you. See, we've got two wraiths now. The second one was brought in from a phantom, but if you move up far enough, they'll stop shooting. It should be noted that you need to watch out for the brutes with jump jets here, because 
yes, they will easily hijack your wraith, and it's damn near impossible to get them off. Brutes with carbines and spikers really can't hurt you, but the brute shot guys definitely will. And kind of watching up on the left over here, because this guy wants to do something funky. This is definitely the easiest way to end this mission. I have seen some people miraculously somehow destroy that barrier at the end. Um, and it ends the mission. I've never had it work that way for me, and I don't know why. But that's why they're able to finish so quickly. And that's what she said. Now, you want to push the Wraith past these Covenant barriers. Non-energy, of course. And in this last zone, we have a War Chieftain guarding that barrier. You can destroy it with the Wraith, just like that. There's a Shade Turret. There are a few Jump Jet Brutes. And a few brute miners as well. And I believe there are two bodyguards guarding the chieftain. This particular chieftain has a plasma cannon. Which is basically just a detached plasma turret. Nothing overly complicated. You don't necessarily have to kill everything here. But since this is the end of the mission, why take any chances? Uh, we don't have Mythic or Tilt on, so the Brutes are going to die pretty easily from a single Wraith shot. I think that was a two for one. Yeah. So we just need to kill these guys over here. I don't think they're actual bodyguards. I think they're just regular ones. Um... The Chieftain's going to be your top priority. He's the hardest one to kill. He actually takes multiple direct hits to kill, even on just regular Legendary. On Mythic, this guy is a beast. And it's almost easier just to propel him off the cliff. Oh, he went flying that time. I guess it's true. Monkeys can fly after all. And with that two-for-one, that ends the mission. Congratulations. That is Salvo Highway on Legendary with Lord no Hood. deaths. We made it. Now enjoy the cutscene. Oh, yeah. And time. thanks for watching. If you continue to like this, please uh, go to www.mythictyrant.com and subscribe, comment, rate, and do all that other cool stuff so that I can bring you awesome new videos every week. This is the Tyrant, and thanks for watching.